Hurricanes, typhoons, cyclones and willy willies are all types of tropical storm. The reason they have different names is simply because of where they form and where they hit. So for example, looking at the map here um, in the Far East, um, these tropical storms would be called typhoons that are hitting the Philippines and Japan. Um, over here we have cyclones that are hitting India and Bangladesh. Uh, the ones coming down here to hit Australia are willy willies. And finally, the one that you're probably, or the term that you're most familiar with, being hurricanes, um, are here hitting the United States of America and Central America. Um, so that's simply where the name comes from. In terms of distribution, there's a few things to note. Um, look at the map. You'll notice that tropical storms do not form north of the tropics or south of the tropics. The start point is always between the tropics. So that's um, the first thing for you to note. The second thing is that, as you can see, they don't start on land. Um, in fact, they start in the oceans and on hitting the land, that's when they start to die out. Um, and you'll also notice that as they hit land in the northern hemisphere, they then sort of migrate northwards. In the southern hemisphere, they hit land and migrate southwards. OK, so that's the, the second thing. Um, the third thing about their distribution is the way that they travel. You'll notice that the path, they are travelling in a westerly direction. Um, and the other thing that you, um, well, you can't pick up on it from the map, but the other thing about their distribution is that tropical storms in the northern hemisphere tend to hit during their summer months. So um, from between May up to, well, it's the summer and the autumn, so from May through till about November time. In the southern hemisphere, it, um, it's the same, their summer and autumn months, but that's a different time of the year for them in the southern hemisphere. It would be uh, between about December and April time. Um, so they're, they're hitting different times of the year. So that basically covers the distribution. There's one other thing that's, um, that's important to, to mention here, and that is the equator. You will notice that they do not form on the equator. Um, and there's a reason for that, and we'll talk about that in a moment. But you do not see them on the equator. So to summarise, to summarise, in terms of the distribution, they form in the oceans, they are between the tropics, they are not on the equator, they move westwards with the prevailing wind, they migrate north or south on hitting land, depending on whether they're in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere, and the time of year um, that they hit will be the summer and autumn months um, at that in that particular place. In terms of the relationship between tropical storms and atmospheric circulation, their distribution is linked to the things that they need in order to form. Tropical storms need moisture. They bring a lot of rain. Um, you will have studied that. They bring a lot of wet rain, so therefore they need moisture and they get that from the ocean. Um, they need a lot of heat. Um, and that's because the air needs to be rising so that the moisture in the air can cool down, condense and form very, very deep, towering cumulonimbus clouds to bring all that rain. Um, and they also need a spin. And the spin comes from the Coriolis force, which is the Earth's spin. Um, going back to this map, this is why they're not on the equator, why they don't start on the equator is because the Coriolis force along the equator here is too weak to be able to make the storm spin. So they have to form at least 5 degrees north up to 30 degrees north or at least 5 degrees south to about 30 degrees south of the equator. They won't form on the equator because there's no spin. Um, so that links into the atmospheric circulation. The other thing to pick up on is the fact that they move westwards across the globe. Um, and that's because the prevailing winds from the southern hemisphere here are moving up, um, are moving, sorry, westwards. And the prevailing winds in the northern hemisphere are also moving westwards. So it blows the storms from east to west. Okay.